What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another one of my uh, Tuesday commentary style videos. And I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't been having the greatest week, which um, really makes me want to talk about my favorite style of YouTube video, my favorite genre of YouTube video, Someone that something that always gives me serotonin, dopamine, puts a smile on my face, makes me chuckle a little bit, and gets me uh, up, if you know what I mean. Anyways... Uh, before I get into that, I just want to say the mod pack that I'm playing in the background of this is Stoneblock. If you want to check that out, I had some questions on the last video about what I was playing. So yeah, Minecraft, Stoneblock, try it out. Um, anyways, something that you probably don't know about me is I'm a big fan of baseball. I love baseball, favorite sport, a uh, big Cubs fan personally. Uh, but that ties into my favorite genre of YouTube video. It's a really weird and specific one. Uh, but basically, it's dugout frustrations. Maybe a player gets struck out, um, makes a bad call, whatever happens. They come back to the dugout. They're they're not happy with what just happened, and you know you could visibly tell. Maybe they break a bat over their knee, um, or in the case of David Ortiz, you break the phone in the dugout and get ejected. Rondon hitting the water fountain with his bat. Some of those Ortiz and Rondon's actions aren't my favorite. Uh, personally, watching those videos really uh, kind of brings me down a little bit. A little scared when they do that. But but there's some that I just can't help but chuckle. Just puts a smile on my face. And I kind of feel bad about it because you're seeing these guys at like their lowest point like they're not having a good time at all at the moment they're just trying to do their job they're trying to help their team and they feel like they're letting themselves and everyone else down the fans the other players so they're just not having a good time and they need to get that frustration out well some of them they see a cooler and let me tell you when that cooler comes in the frame with a player who looks angry you're about to see gold. Yeah, that's right. My favorite genre of YouTube video is cooler abuse in baseball. Absolute mutilation, massacres of coolers. They don't deserve what's coming to them, but it's so fun to watch it happen. Uh, one event specifically that I want to tell you about is uh, Carlos Gomez for the Rays in 2018. He gets hit in the hand by a ball. The ump calls it a foul ball. He gets pissed, walks to the dugout, takes his bat, which just bashes it on the top of a cooler until it completely breaks. Water is flying everywhere. It just, you know, it's like a, have, have, you know what a Blue Man Group concert is? When they play the drums with the paint on them? It's like that. It's just water, though. But it's still reminiscent of that, and I enjoy that. It's a little, a little goofy, a little quirky, even. And then, after that, he's not done. He's still pissed. And he fucking hates the coolers. So what does he do? He walks over to the little Gatorade fountain type thing where you put your cup and you... The spout, you know? And he gives it an uppercut. Falcon PUNCH! Unexpected, honestly. But it's so beautiful when he does it. I don't know why. And then you just have one of the... Uh, not the players, one of the managers. They come up and they just casually fix the little cabinet for the Gatorade area. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know what it is about that specific scenario of baseball players taking their frustration out on a cooler. That is so funny to me. And I think the best part of that specific story of Carlos Gomez, not long later, uh, you see him in the dugout with a sign saying, we made up or something like that next to the cooler. It's just so funny. Like, the self-awareness of it is also great, especially in Carlos Gomez's case. But there's other cases of MLB players just destroying coolers with malicious intent. We have sale for the white socks um <clears throat> north side best side but absolutely demolishing a cooler with his glove 
Uh, there's a video, one of my favorites, and I can't find the clip by itself. It's only in compilations I've found of dugout frustrations. It's a Yankees play. I'm pretty sure Yankees. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. But a Yankees player pushes over two really big water coolers or ice chests, whatever you call them. And <laughs> then after that, really angry, picks them up, throws them. And they, they can't be light. They obviously are pretty heavy. And after that, pure feat of strength and anger, like the incredible fucking Hulk, just tossing these massive coolers, he's casually, calmly, like nothing happened, grabs a cup, puts up to the Powerade dispenser, the spout, gets a drink, like nothing happened. I, I don't understand how you can go from that high to that low immediately. It's 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 astonishing, really. I, I I almost wish I was able to contain that amount of chaotic energy in me. It's just so entertaining to watch MLB players just destroy coolers. And I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna have clips in here, but I will have links to some different videos featuring players just destroying coolers with malicious intent because I think it's just fun and I hope that you know you guys can enjoy it as much as I do but if you don't uh please tell me your videos that you watch whenever you're not feeling too great your favorite YouTube videos things that just make you happy whenever you watch them and I'll I'll give them a try um but also, tell me what you want to see me talk about next. I think I might talk about that Winnie the Pooh horror movie that's being made. But there's a lot of different things I could talk about on this. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind liking that video and subscribing. Um, <laughs> anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoy my taste in YouTube videos. I should have some links down below for that. And I'll see you next time.